Hello customers and welcome to today's video. My name's Jesse, I'm down here at Car Place along Leach Highway in Melville and today I get to run you through a thrilling 2014 Kia Sorento. We hope you enjoy the video. I'll jump out the way, take a good look in from the front as I list off the key features. From the top, eight airbags, power windows, daytime running lights, six speaker stereo sound system, cargo cover, Bluetooth connectivity, fingers crossed, we can cover the remaining features inside this short video we have for you, okay? So first up, we're gonna start from the paint job, guys. It's a very glistening, vibrant white. If you do notice any specks along the way, don't worry. It's simply the film team, us, have beaten the detailing team to the car. But upon purchase of this vehicle, we're gonna have it looking so clean, you think it was a 2020 vehicle, all right? Moving on, the contrast of our white, black, and our chrome finish along the front here is presenting really nicely. A nice, prominent Kia badge. Check out this bull bar, guys. If someone's walking through the car park with their trolley, I'd be scared of, of this. Uh, all right, moving on to the headlights. Daytime running lights installed in this, giving a nice, sleek, professional, and sexy appearance driving around in the daytime. Your foggies down in the, in the corners there, and those little circles are the uh, parking sensors. Okay, cool. Moving down the left-hand side of the vehicle. First up, we've got a guard plates around, around the perimeter of your wheel, giving you a bit of protection there. Check out the wheel itself, guys. The rim is in great condition. As we move further down, side mirror with a nice big indicator on there. These are powered, meaning that the adjustment controls are all electronic. We'll show you that to you later. And they also fold in these mirrors, minimizing any risk of getting a bump in the car park, all right? As we jump down, chrome handlebars, uh, door handles, sorry and a side step up plate for those vertically challenged. All right, we have a, wind, uh, a weather shield. These bad boys are called weather shields, okay? If it's hot as hell, you can crack your windows down, get some oxygen flowing through, and you're not gonna have any sand, debris, dust getting into your windows, and of course, rain. Um, if you want to just get some oxygen flow happening, okay? It means you can also drive around when it's raining with your windows down just a little bit, okay? Get that rain aroma through the vehicle, all right? Uh, a bit of um, slight tint application along the windows, guys. They're not too dark, but they are there. Uh, fuel cap on the left-hand side of the vehicle. While we're here, let's drop down to our back left-hand tire. Get a good look in on that. Okay. Time now to discuss the back. From the top, and we're gonna go from the roof racks which are installed, okay? Notice that they are the horizontal roof racks, not the vertical ones. So you're gonna get those with the car. Normally they're an aftermarket purchase um, or, or a bonus purchase that you get with just the basic car, okay? Next up, we have a little bit of a spoiler feature. We've got a, a cut out here, which is your water spray. It's gonna spray down here. It's gonna clean your back windscreen. Chrome badge, chrome badge, chrome badge. We're gonna talk about warranty soon. And before we pop the hood to show you what's in here, I'll just quickly point out your reverse camera and your reverse parking sensors. They're gonna alert you, beep, 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 if there's any obstacles in the way. Okay, nice little rubber button to open your boot. And here we are, guys. Now, there's a little bit to talk about here. So we'll start with from the top. This is a retractable cover tray, all right? It hooks in on the left and right hand side in these little nooks that have been cut out, okay? If you don't like this, you can pinch the bar on the left and right hand side and take it out. It doesn't need to be in there, okay? You can remove it. Next up, it is this Velcro bag along the back here. Now this is a world first for us. We haven't seen one of these before, but it's like a cleaning kit for your car. Waterless wash, superior streak free clean without water. There you go. All right, how fancy is that? You get a couple of chamois in there, get a water spray thingy. There you go. That's gonna come with the purchase. And to, where do you store it? Great question. Just whack it on there and the Velcro is just going to stick to the back of the seat. Okay. Heavy duty rubber slash plastic hybrid um, boot liner. Okay. If you're storing or your cargo is like potentially going to scratch the floor, not with this. 
it's gonna impact this. Now if I pull this out all the way, you're also gonna see a, th a third row of seats, okay? And to install these, I'd better do it on this one. You simply just pull this and then the back seat comes up, okay? Now our bar is in the way there, but that's all you need to know, okay? You just pull that, oh geez, I'm not strong enough. You just pull that lever and the seat comes up, all right? Underneath here is your tools and knickknacks to change the spare tire. Oops. As you can see, that easily comes out and then slides back on. That's supposed to. And then this easily slides back in, okay? Lift it up to the left and right. They've even got cutouts on this uh, uh, rubber mat for the seat belts to slide in. That's so convenient. Okay, I think that's pretty much gonna do us. No, we, we do have drink holders on the left and right for your backseat passengers. Okay, done. Done, diddly, done. I'm gonna drop down here and just quickly point out that the spare tire is installed beneath the vehicle. You can just see it there, peeking out the bottom. And that will do us. Time now to begin the tour of the right hand side. Check out your corner. First thing we'll jump down onto is the tire. Back right hand tire. Then we'll zoom up here into the vehicle. We have a leather and maple interior. Power windows, nice big speaker. As we jump on in, you'll notice you've got the uh, fishnet storage on the back of the passenger and driver's seats. The seats themselves are the plush cotton soft uh, fabric, an armrest, two drink holders in the center and carpet floor mats along the bottom, okay? Now the front, our wi power window controls, lock, window lock, lock and unlock the car, side mirror adjustments here. That's to open your fuel cap. As we enter, we've got a wheel lock here, traction control if it's wet, uh, illumination for your dashboard, your smart steering wheel to the right hand side is your cruise control settings and to the left hand side is your radio volume. Maybe some phone controls there as well. Okay. <sighs> Time now to run you through these central features here. And it's a, it's a nice simple setup. I like looking at setups like this. It doesn't feel like I'm driving an airplane. We've got a, a display along the very top here which can be changed to maybe the date, the time, maybe some logistics about the car. Don't quote me on it. But, uh, there is a display along the top. Uh, CD player all of your controls to get through your infotainment system here another display here uh, this is your air conditioning section um, i thought that was going to be like a push open tray it's not uh, cool down here 12 volt power supply aux input usb input all the usual suspects along here drink holders there these are your parking sensors, guys, and, a, and, a, and a, a, an economy button as well. I don't know, maybe that changes something with the engine. Ask your salesperson if you wanna know more info about that. And that's just to turn off and on your parking sensors. Some people hate the beeping do, 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 every time they're trying to park, so you can disengage that if you know your surroundings. Okay, we got a bucket here for your essentials. And if you need more room, trust me, there's plenty of it. It's almost a freaking esky. You can fit a six pack in there. Drop that down. Acts as an armrest as well. Nice soft leather, pretty comfy. Glove box, service and warranty history. I'm not gonna go through everything here, but just point out that the car has been looked after to give you some peace of mind. First service at 3000 kilometers in 2015. Uh, then in January 2016, uh, February 2017, November 2017, June 2018, February 2019, and I'm going to jump to the final service here, February 2020. Okay, there it is at 63,000 kilometers. So we hope all those services are enough to give you some peace of mind that the car's been looked after, okay? Here, 
it says that the license and registration lasts until the 18th of May. So that's, th I think that's literally three months to the day, right? So if you're gonna purchase this vehicle within the next few days, you'll get three months worth of free rego with it, all right? I know it's not life changing, but it's definitely worth pointing out. Sun visor, mirror, light, roof storage here for your glasses or whatever you wanna put in there, anti-glare, rear view mirror. If you've got some wanker behind you with really bright lights, that's gonna diminish the impact of the brightness, okay? And that's gonna do us, my friends. We hope you enjoyed the inside tour. Now, as I make my way back around, don't forget about your nice, soft uh, co cotton seats, fabric seats. I don't even know. I just pull words out of my mouth to try and describe it. Carpet floor mats as well. Pop your hood. Let's check out your final tire. And now to check out your engine bay. First thing, pistons to the left and right hand side, they take all the weight when you're lifting it up, all right? And it holds it there for you. You don't have to find some stick. Freaking hate trying to find those damn sticks. You don't have, you don't have this problem with this car. All right. Nice front-on view there of your engine bay. A little bit dusty, but that's forgivable. At least it's not covered in leaves and debris and dirt. Guys, I've got my notes up here. I'm gonna tell you it takes diesel fuel. This is a four-wheel drive. 2.2 liters can run through that engine. Sports auto transmission, and that's gonna do us, all right? We hope, you t we hope that view ticks some boxes for you rev heads. And now it's time to wrap up the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. There's two things I need to tell you. I was just looking at it there. Number one, warranty is available on all of the cars here at the yard, all right? Get warranty. Warranty has saved me so many headaches with my personal vehicle. It's on the table for you, so take advantage of it, please. <laughs> Secondly, same day finance approval is also available. That's just a fancy way of saying that the banking and the finance stuff gets sorted out super quick, okay? The guys down in the offices have got the process sorted out to an absolute T. So, if you enjoyed the video, if you think this might be the car for you, find our contact number, give us a ring, maybe take this bad boy for a test drive down Leech Highway and back. We'd love to hear from you. Guys, my name's Jesse, thanks for watching. I'm a Perth marriage celebrant. Check me out on Instagram at Jesse B Celebrancy. Thanks so much for watching guys, have a great day. We'll hear from you soon.